In this video, we are going to learn some of the commonly used Figma shortcuts. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can pan or zoom around in your Figma interface, hide and show some of the controls. So let's get started. So first we are going to look at pan. So if you can press your space bar and hold it and you will see this hand and you can easily pan around or move this, uh, your frame around wherever you want to. This is first shortcut. Now the second one is about zoom levels. So you can see here, you can see it is set to zoom level of 50%. And if you select this frame, if you want to zoom to 100%, you are going to press zero. So pressing zero, so you can see this is the actual frame size of the frame or artboard I am using. Now you can also zoom to fit. So you can press one, so you can see now it has been zoomed to fit and it is 71% uh, now. And also you can press one or nine. So one is easier to remember zero for 100%. One is for zoom to fit and two is for zoom to selection. So for example, if I have, uh, let's zoom out first for, and uh, you can zoom out by using command or control plus minus key. So you have to hold your control key and, and along with that you have to press minus. So minus will zoom out, plus will zoom in. So this is very easy. Plus, so I'm just holding my control or command key on a Mac. If you are on a Mac, command. Then if you are on a Windows, then a control key. Minus and plus. So let's uh, suppose that I was designing in this um, zoom level. And I want to zoom into this hello there. So now I'm going to select this object first. So I'm going to drag and select and press two. So you can see now it is in the focus. So if you want to go back or you have to zoom to 100% or you want to zoom to fit, press one. So this is uh, a great way of zooming in and out when you are designing. Most of the time when you are designing, you have to zoom in and zoom out a lot of times. So these shortcuts are going to help you out. Now, whenever you are designing, you, you sometimes need your rulers to draw some of the guidelines to support your design or you have to align few things. So in Figma, you have to enable your rulers first. So you can see at the top over here or on the left, we have no rulers. So we are going to press Shift and R now you can see we have rulers on the top and on the left. So if you want to, uh, if you don't remember this shortcut, you can go over here on this menu and here we have shift plus R. So you can enable it over here too. So once you have enabled it, you can drag guidelines over here like this. They are going to snap to different objects. For example, I have this one. I am going to drag and drop my guidelines like this. So this is another shortcut shift R and you are going to enable your rulers. Now I have hidden my ruler and you can see my guidelines have also disappeared. Now, if you want to show your design to someone and you don't want to show them this design uh, section over here, this panel over here, or also the layers panel on the left, you can press and hold your control or command key along with your backslash. So control backslash. And you can see we have hidden our Figma's UI, which is around our objects. So again, you can uh, show it by pressing and holding control or command plus backslash. Similarly, uh, we have another shortcut, which is search bar. So if you want to search something quickly in Figma or you want to add something uh, or you want to search a plugin you have installed, the shortcut key is control backslash. So you can see control or command key, command plus backslash. So you can search for example, avatar and I just click on over here, avatar plugin. And you can see here we have an avatar. Uh, we can also again go to search and we can also search for, for example, like this content reel or create component. Uh, a lot of things. There are shortcuts, there are uh, plugins, everything can be searched uh, by this search bar over here. So this is a very common, very easy to use shortcut key. 
control or command forward slash so you have to remember it um, backslash to hide your ui forward slash to search now if you are designing for websites or mobile apps you might have your grids or columns layout over here if you are familiar with bootstrap or other grid layouts so i am going to quickly add um, a grid over here let's add a grid and um, for example we have this grid over here activated and if i want to hide it quickly for example i'm uh, designing over here I, and i don't want to you know bothered by this grid i have to use my shortcut key which is control shift plus four on windows and con control plus g on mac control shift four on windows so you can see at the bottom it says layout grid hidden this is very nice in um, figma that it shows you uh, the feedback which is really really nice feature of any uh, design software if you are a user experience or familiar with user experience you know that feedback is very important so command g on a mac if you are a mac user to hide this layout grid and uh, control shift plus four these three keys are going to hide layout grids on a windows so that is all about uh, some of the shortcuts that are going to hide and show different things while you are designing Let's move on to the next lesson we are I am going to share with you some of the more uh, shortcut keys you have to get familiar with. So let's move on to the next lesson.